Good morning, good evening, good day, good night, whatever it may be, wherever you are. Um, I feel almost inclined to introduce this as like the new year kind of, we're back to it kind of thing. Because it's sort of really the first patch in the first news post of the new year uh, for Deep Rock. Obviously there's already been a video, um, which was a build showcase, which was kind of just obligatory. Although I really enjoyed doing that one, I thought it was a good build. So if you haven't watched it, please check it out. There's also something that did happen yesterday, which was obviously this patch which i'm going to show you right now but this is not the focus of the video and the reason i didn't make a video on this is because i kind of came to the realization um looking at it well first of all i kind of didn't want this to be the first video of the year or the first like you know informational video of the year it's so flat you know and that's not a dig it's just whatever it's just what the patch happened to be it's just really sort of boring stuff that doesn't really mean anything to most people i'm sure it's important changes in some capacity especially the whatever added additional logging means but Frankly, it doesn't mean enough to enough people to be important. You're not going to be missing out by not hearing about this. And even then, I'm talking about it now, and I did I did actually make a post about it um, on YouTube. Um, so I think this, this, this is just going to be a thing going forward. I'm not going to make a video on literally every patch because sometimes a patch just isn't informative enough. Um, what it will be, though, is when there is a patch that is of value, I'll sort of do a roundup of the previous ones. So saying if what happened today was a more significant patch, then I would be talking about this as well. It kind of is a patch, actually, or, or rather, I should say, a hat fix. And um, this is not a surprise. This is kind of what they said they wanted to do. Because the, the Jagged Bug Basher was this um, hat that they wanted to release for them being nominated for the Steam Award uh, for Labour of Love, which they didn't win. Uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 won it somehow, and obviously we, we've discussed how this is, um, 2023 wasn't, like, you know, the year of Deep Rock necessarily, but we kind of, in general, think it, it should win at some point. Um, and that's, and I don't really, we wouldn't have minded if it was, you know, 2023. Um, it didn't win, and they tried to add the um, hat so that it would, it would release on Christmas Day, I believe, and it kind of just broke the game, so they just had to remove it. Anyway, um, that's kind of just the preface. I'm just going to go through post now. Okay. Um, we finally got the hat working. Snag the jugged, bag, the jugged bug basher before it goes away on January 29th. Hello, miners. Great news. We fixed the hat. To celebrate our nomination for the Steam Awards last month, we announced a sweet new hat, the jagged bug basher. It was supposed to come out shortly after the initial blog post, but something about the hat made the whole game crash for anyone running older Ryzen GPUs. Okay, so that patch yesterday was actually of some significance. <laughs> after a bit of tinkering, we got the hat working now. We're not really sure why or how, but it works. So now you can grab it. So they don't even know why. <laughs> I think it's kind of funny. They did talk about this idea of... um. If they can't recreate a bug, then they're, they're basically trying to fix it blindly, which is not ideal. Um, but they managed it anyway. Um, pictured here, the Jagged Bug Basher, an ancient helmet imbued with a strange and powerful aura. Legends say it contains the power to tear apart the very fabric of the world, or at least to overheat a few GPUs. All you've got to do is log on to Deep Rock Galactic before January 29th at 1pm um, Central Eastern Time to claim it. It's not available for consoles quite yet, but we expect to have it out with the next patch, likely coming in, likely in the coming week. Great, that's all sorted. Now to take a big sip of coffee and check to see who won the Labour of Love award. Well, we know who won Labour of Love. It was Red Dead Redemption 2, um, for some reason. Anyway, yeah, that's news. The Jagged Bug Basher is available if you're on PC. It will be available consoles a week later with another uh, patch, which I guess they're planning another patch. Who knows what that might be? Probably something small still. Either way, um, it's a pretty nice start to the year. Um, not sort of, you know, we're not just going in blind and then we just sort of get saddled with the Lunar Festival event and that's kind of it until they're forced to say something. Um, I'm already sort of feeling, you know, that it's not like they've said like, oh, this is exactly what's going to be in this update or whatnot, but I'm still getting the aura of openness is sort of emanating from them and it, it's quite nice to see. Anyway, so yeah, you can log in now and get that hat if you're on PC, if you're on console, you have to wait about a week. Um, that, that's me, by the way. Um, yeah, that's it. Um, Go get that hat. All right. Thanks for listening. Oh, well, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to like, like and subscribe. I'm still not just, I'm just in general not great at talking. I have to be like really, really slow. Um, So if you do want to stay on top of everything to do with Deep Rock and Rogue Call as well, then click the bell as well. Um, it'll help you, it'll help me, and we'll all ride off into the sun together on the back of a cave angel or something. I don't know. All right. See you.